you know, we're working through McShane's two-year Bible reading program. We're on, we just finished up week six. And so if you've been reading along with us, the passages we just finished would have been Genesis chapter 38 through Genesis 44 and Mark chapter 8 through Mark 14. And so our Bible reading spotlight's coming out of Mark chapter 12. And the Pharisees are trying to catch Christ in his words. Let me read you Mark chapter 12 and verse 17. The word of God says this, And Jesus answering said unto them, Render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God, God's. And they marveled at him. Now here's the Bible reading spotlight. I brought along a coin here. It's a quarter. It's not quite the same coin that was used in the parable. But there's some interesting things. They were trying to catch Christ in his words, and he used that time as a teaching time for them. And so he takes the coin and he says, Render unto Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and unto God's the things that are God's. And there's a couple things on this quarter. I would note there's a date. There's a date on it. And comparing it to us, and if you are a child of God, there is a day that you came to know Christ. For me, that was November 17th of 2002. There was a day whenever I became Christ's child. Another thing is that there's an image on that coin. In this case, it was Caesar. In our case, it's George Washington. But whenever it comes to the believer, we are supposed to have, we have the image of Christ upon us as his image is being formed in us each and every day. Another thing we find on a coin is that there is, the coin never guesses what country or who it belongs to. This coin has United States of America. Whenever it comes to the believer, we have the Holy Spirit sealing in us Another thing on this coin is that it says, In God we trust. That is its motto. The thing about us is that our motto is that we are in Christ. And so whenever this is being taught, Christ uses this. Another thing about a coin is it has a value. And I would note if we ever question our value, we ought to look at several things. The first thing we can see is that Christ valued us so much that he came, sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die upon the cross. And he went to be with his Father to prepare a place for us. And so those are some things that Christ teaches about, uh, uses as a teaching point for us. He says, now render unto God the things that are God's. And there's no question when it comes to our lives as believers that we are in Christ, that we belong to the Lord. And so the question here, what is God's? Your life, your time the things that you value, your efforts, your energy, and your will, they all belong to the Lord. And so the question is, are you rendering unto God the things that are God's? And that is your life. As we continue reading, week number seven, we have passages Genesis 45 through Exodus 1, Mark chapter 15 through Luke chapter 4. And as you remember to stay diligent in your reading, remember as the word of God says that you are born again by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever.